Now, SoFi Technologies is currently trading around 44% of their all-time high. And the good thing is that we expect it, or many analysts expect it to head up towards that all-time high uh, very soon. Now, SoFi Technologies is on a path to become profitable. As you will know that this company is not profitable yet, but many analysts expect this company to be profitable uh, very soon. And one of the th good things that will make it possible for them to become profitable is when they generate tons and tons of revenue, which I believe it is going to be very possible, especially with the banking chat approval set to be announced very soon. We are patiently waiting for that announcement as I believe that with the banking chat, like what I've been telling you on this channel, it's what will unlock uh, so many good things from these SoFi technologies. As you will know that uh, even SoFi expect to generate two times uh, the revenue they're generating now after they've received this banking chatter, which is something that is truly amazing and has to motivate you to stay long into this SoFi technology stock. Now, with all these good things which are said to take place around this SoFi technology stock, can it get or we can we? really expect to see it heading up towards 28 us dollars per stock well you came to the right channel because on today's video guys we'll be unpacking a uh, two catalyst which i personally believe will be the one to drive this share price or the share price of sofi technologies back towards its all-time high of around 28 you as dollars so please do watch this video until the end because i definitely think that you're going to like the content that i have in store for you on today's video and otherwise if you like the content that i'll be sharing with you on today's video please don't forget to hit that like button and comment and subscribe and that's if of course you've not subscribed to the channel already so that you don't miss the good content or the latest developments regarding the stocks that we follow on this channel Otherwise, without going any further, please know that I'm not a professional financial advisor. All that I'll be discussing here or sharing with you here are just my opinions. And you should not take them as professional financial advice. If you seek uh, financial advice or professional financial advice, you already know what to do by now. And that is you need to go and consult the professionals. Now, you will remember that as I've already told you, SoFi Technologies, it is becoming a one-stop shop for all things relating to digital banking. This is one of the things that I've been telling you every time I do a video about these SoFi Technologies. As you remember that, uh, one of the things that make SoFi to stand out or to separate it from the traditional banks is that consumers can be able to do a wide range of things from this individual SoFi platform, which is something that is truly amazing and makes it to stand out because you remember that consumers can save, invest, borrow and spend, which is something that is truly amazing and ought to motivate you to stay long into this stock. You remember that even when you look in terms of the customers that they are generating uh, annually, you will realize that they are doing so well in terms of uh, new customers coming in and wanting to use this SoFi or wanting to be Come a member of this SoFi Technologies company, which is something that is truly amazing and is going to uh, increase uh, them or make it possible for them to generate more and more revenue, which is why I personally believe that you will or we will see this company getting or becoming profitable uh, sooner than uh, what most people uh, think. Now, through its GLU acquisition, SoFi Technologies, you will know by now that they are able to do uh, payments and account services for debit cards and digital banking, which is something that is truly amazing and shows you how big this company is becoming, which is something that makes me to strongly believe that they will do very well or we will see them do very well in the near future and with the banking charter which is set or which we are set to find out the developments around that or the results around that towards the end of this year it is something that is incredibly amazing i mean i personally think that we are going to see them get the banking charter which is going to be a mind-blowing thing because it will make them or it will make it possible for sofi to be able to reach a wide range of customers which is something that is truly amazing and has to motivate you to stay long into this sofi technology stock otherwise like i said on today's video guys we'll be looking at the two catalysts which i believe will be the one to take or to make sofi technologies to head towards their all-time high of around 28 US dollars per stock. So please do watch this video until the end because I definitely think that these latest developments or these two catalysts which I'll be discussing with you will make you to stay long into this SoFi technology stock because uh, I just personally believe that these are the catalysts that will make SoFi technologies to even pass or surpass 
uh, they are all time high otherwise the catalyst number one which i believe will be the one to make the share price of sofi technologies to rise or head back towards their all-time high is none other than their rapid revenue growth now you remember that generally stocks go up when they beat analyst expectations meaning that if they beat or they beat the total revenues and the eps uh, that analysts expected it to report for that quarter then that ought to be a very good sign or that we we have seen in most cases that it results in the share price or the stock price of a company to rise and vice versa if the stock is not able to beat the analyst expectation we always see or it result in the share price or the stock price of that company uh, dropping which is what we saw on sofi technologies after their q2 earnings results i mean you remember that before the earnings results sofi was trading over 17 us dollars per stock but after those results we saw sofi or the share price of sofi technologies uh, dropping back to around 14 us dollars per stock which is something that it brought a lot of panic to many investors as uh, they were very excited for the, with the fact that this stock was now heading or uh, towards their all-time high but as i've said or as i've told you in my previous videos the reason why sofi technologies reported a wider than expected loss was due to the fact of the Leo acquisition which i must say that it's a good thing because this or that transaction or that acquisition makes it possible now Jalilio to do the card payment processes which is something that is truly amazing and makes them to even become a better company otherwise one of the mazua analysts believe that the average total revenue that we could see so far technologies reporting between now and 2024 it's around 40 percent now what this means is that is the analyst believes that between now and 2024 so far technologies could be reporting or we could see so far technologies reporting a total revenue increase of around 40 percent which i believe is something that is truly amazing and has to motivate you because like i said if the company continues to do well in terms of revenue generation then this ought to be taken as a very good sign that this is a company which is set to do very well and this is one of the those things that constitute to a company becoming profitable which is something that is truly amazing and has to motivate you to stay long into this so far technology stack Otherwise, the second catalyst or catalyst number two that I believe is the one that is going to make SoFi Technologies to head back towards their all-time high and even go beyond that all-time high is none other than you will remember that SoFi Technologies is on its way to becoming profitable, which is something that so many people or so many investors who invest into these stocks are expecting or are patiently waiting for that time where SoFi Technologies will be a company that's profitable, meaning that they will will not be reporting any losses uh, for the quarters or every quarters they report their earnings results but that time it is when we will see sofi technologies reporting a positive uh, eps or earnings per se which is something that is truly amazing and like i said so many investors are patiently waiting to see sofi technologies uh, get to that point now, as I've said, though for the Q2 of 2021, Sofi Technologies reported a wider than expected uh, loss, you will remember that this company for the Q2 or for the period which ended of, in Q2 of 2021, Sofi Technologies currently has a cash balance of around 768 million US dollars, which is something that is truly amazing. As you remember that this offers the highest level of liquidity in terms of of company paying their short-term obligations and operating expenses now companies with a good cash uh, or a good balance sheet are perceived to perform well or do well in the future which is something that is truly amazing and something that makes me want to believe that we could see so far becoming more profitable uh, sooner than expected now as i've said in the beginning of this video the banking chatter is one of the things that will make so far technologies to become uh, profitable sooner than expected as uh, this makes it possible for SoFi to reach a wide range of clients which means that more clients will be able to come in and use SoFi technologies platform and uh, that my friends will result in SoFi uh, generating tons and tons of revenue as most of those clients will be buying the products or will be utilizing the products that they get from that individual app of SoFi, which is something that is truly amazing. Now, one of the th good things that seriously motivated me or that continues to motivate me to stay long into SoFi technologies is the fact that one of the Mizua analysts believes that this company 
uh, will be or we will see them generating a total annual revenue of around 4.4 billion dollars uh, in the next coming four years or within the next coming four years which is something that is truly amazing because you remember that for the year 2021 software technologies expect to report a total revenue of over 900 million us dollars now to see or to know that sofi technologies uh, analysts are expecting that it will be generating a total revenue of around 4.4 billion us dollars in the next four years that, that ought to be taken as a very good sign to say that we are investing in a company that is said to do very well we are investing in a company which will do very well in the future which is something that is truly amazing now when can we expect sofi technologies to become profitable now analyst guys believe that sofi technologies will become profitable a beginning of 2024 so we will see sofi technologies or they expect sofi technologies to become profitable early 2024 which is something that is truly amazing and has to show you that yeah you need to hang on tight to this stock because uh 2024 i personally believe that it's just around the corner and uh, by then i believe already this stock or this sofi technologies would have passed their all-time high of around 28 us dollars per stock which is a very good thing now this ought to motivate you guys because i as i've said these two catalysts i definitely believe that are to be the one to encourage you to stay long into this sofi technology stock as it is set to do very well in the future otherwise with all that guys i believe that this is a stock that is doing well and is going to continue doing well and with the banking chatter expected to come very soon i, I definitely believe that this is a stock that will or oh, we will see them do very uh, good in the years to come which is something that has to motivate you to stay long into this sofi technology stock otherwise with all that guys i make tons and tons of stock market investing videos and if you think that this video was amazing please don't forget to hit that like button and if you're new please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that youtube can notify you every time i release a video otherwise that's all from me and i wish you nothing but the best in your stock market investing journey and god bless you all